Hello everyone. Lately, I was working on a Flutter app that works with um, serial port communication. And it is actually a pain in the ass when there is no much documentation. There is no tutorials or uh, blog posts demonstrating how this works. But this should not be the case for you. By the end of this video, you will be able to send and receive data through a serial port with a flutter, of course. Okay, uh, as you can see, I have uh, an empty flutter project. So first thing to do is uh, to add a package called flutter lib serial port. You can find uh, the link to this package in the description. Okay, I just want to note that I will not build the UI. I will just demonstrate how to send and receive data through serial port. So uh, as you can see, I am in the main .dart file and uh, I will just remove all the predefined code. Okay, for now we just need to import the, uh, the package that we have downloaded. Lib serial port and um, first thing to do is to see the available ports that are connected to our PC. Uh, so we will declare a list of string that uh, will receive the the name of the available ports. So we're gonna access that by the static method available ports from the class serial port and then, then print the result and let's see what we got. As you can see here, we got a list of the available ports and uh, we only have COM3 as um, a serial port. For now, we just need to create an object, let's say uh, port 1, and uh, we need to pass uh, the name of the uh, port COM3 that we have got. And now uh, we need to uh, use try and catch for uh, serial port errors. And uh, if there is any error, we print that to the console. So the first thing to do is to open the port. We can open it for reading or just writing or both. So here I chose read and write for reading and writing. And then we need to write on the port. So uh, the problem here is that we have the write method takes unit eight list and we need to convert the string to unit eight list. And to make sure that uh, we have successfully write on the port, we just need to print the return result from write method because it will return the uh, number of bytes written. For now, we will just create the uh, convert method from string to a unit 8 list. First, we just need to convert the string to code units and then convert it to unit 8 list and return the result.
So we have got five output from the print statement. And in order to specify the output, we can just include some indication of the print statement. Uh, let's add written bytes and then add the write method. So let's test it again and uh, as you can see we have the number of written bytes equal to 5 uh, that's the length of uh, hello now uh, let's see how we can uh, read from uh, serial port we need to create an object a serial port reader object and then uh, we need to pass uh, the port as a parameter for uh, the constructor so the serial port uh, reader provide uh, for us a stream the problem here is that um, the stream returns uh, unit 8 list data and um, we have to convert that back to string so what we just need to do is to use uh, map method and convert uh, every element of uh, the uh, unit 8 list to string. Now we have a stream of uh, strings. What we, what we just need to do right now is uh, just listen to the uh, stream and uh, print the upcoming data. And there we go, we have successfully read from uh, serial port. Thank you for watching, till next time, take care.